All right. So we've looked at two great ways to deal with the closed guard and how to open and get right into position. Now let's talk about if the guard is already open, how we're going to approach and set up our passing. With this, once again, we're going to take this straight into a pass. All right. So most of the time, if we're in a situation where the guard's open, people want to sit up. All right. Especially Nogi, we also have to worry about him wanting to stand. So this is something that I want to deal with right away. I don't want to let him get too comfortable here, particularly if he was a wrestler or, some, or someone like that. I don't want to let him stand up. Okay, I want to put my pressure on top and try to put his back to the mat immediately. Okay, now, in order to put his back down, I need to, you know, kind of rock him and make him uh, slide to his back. But I don't, I don't necessarily like to reach with both of my hands. All right. I don't want to uh, grab both of his ankles at the same time. This can open up a lot of arm drags and, and different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push his shoulder, and at the same time, I'm going to reach for the leg with one hand on the other side. All right. As I push his shoulder back, I'm going to lift his ankle up. So it's going to be a motion just like this. Okay. Now, as soon as I do that, immediately I'm going to look for the second ankle. All right. And this is going to be just like a little variation. Of a, of a bullfight pass, okay? But I'm gonna hold at his ankles, and it's not gonna be quite as technical, all right? With this, I'm really just looking to throw his feet just enough to where they pass outside my leg, okay? So from here, I'm looking for that one ankle in his shoulder, push, pull him down, immediately look for the second ankle, okay? Now with this, I'm gonna kinda just do like a little one-two. Remember my goal is just to get his legs outside my leg, all right? So just a little one-two and pass that leg over. Now, I got my leg outside his legs, but this isn't enough because he's going to want to bend this leg back in and start to form a barrier to keep me from passing. All right. So as soon as I pass these to the outside, I'm going to transition my hands with one hand on the hip and the other hand on the knee. Okay. Now I'm going to use this hand on his knee just to help me clear his leg all the way. All right. And now from here, I can start to look at my time to drop in for the pass, okay? Looking for that head control. And we're going to see a lot of transitions at that moment on how we can go right to submission hunting, okay? This is one of my favorite spots to get to no gi to be able to find the submission because he's really thinking about defending the pass, okay? But right now, let's just work on this pass. Make sure you guys get this down and we'll start to add the transition. So once again, he's sitting up. Remember, we don't want to reach with both hands low. We're going to go one ankle, one shoulder, just like this. So I'm pushing him down as I pull this up. Immediately, I look for the second ankle control here. And remember, it's just kind of like a little one, two, throw. And you see how I step just a little bit, okay, to start to cover the distance. Now, right after that, hip and knee, okay, right here. I want to keep him flat with my hand on the hip. I'm going to use this hand on the knee just to pass this leg all the way past my knee. And you see how I'm kind of making this wall right here with my elbow and my knee together here. All right. Now from here, my hand's going hunting for his head. As soon as he starts to move and try to defend, I'm looking to drop in, get control of his head, and establish the side control. Okay. One more time. Push, pull. Look for that second ankle. Little one, two. Right to the hand on the hip and the knee, clear that knee, start to come in and find your side control. So, like I said, this is one of my favorite passes. You guys are going to see how this opens up an array of submission attacks um, uh, off that transition, and uh, that's what we're about to look at next.